Hey, it's Clary, and today I'm going to be showing you how to analyze this POC report. Before we can analyze POC reports, you of course have to have it installed. We've actually made a tutorial on how to install the plugin, so we'll leave the link to that in the description. That tutorial will also help you on generating a report as well, so you can analyze the lag with us. When first presented with the profile or output, it can be a bit daunting and difficult to understand. This is partially because the information is presented in names that programmers use in code, so this isn't necessarily something that's easy to understand for everyone else. When you first open the viewer, you'll be presented with a list of threads which were profiled. You can click on them to open them further. Some well notable call frames display an iInfo point symbol next to them. If you hover over the symbol, the viewer will display some extra information about what the call frame relates to. Additionally, you can also click on a node to view its children. When expanding server thread, you may see something saying Minecraft server.tick or thread.sleep. Sometimes spent on this is healthy, so you can ignore these. The more you expand though, you will see other features such as world server tick, which means it's probably ticking the world, such as blocks, redstone, etc. World server dot tick entities means it's ticking the entities, and craft scheduler means craft bucket is executing plugin scheduler tasks. From there, you can kind of infer what every other node means. Now you know how to navigate the tree and read the basics. The trick to finding problematic areas is just to follow the numbers, specifically the percentages shown next to each node. These percentages indicate how much time was spent in that area. So if you keep expanding the tree following the areas that have high percentages you'll eventually find the problem as you can see here. Finding the cause of lag spikes can also be tricky because the data on report is averaged so you won't be able to see the exact cause of a lag spike. For this reason Spark has a feature just to identify this. You can use the slash spark tick monitor command to do this. This command works by first establishing the average tick rate of the server and then it monitors the time taken from each subsequent tick. It calculates the difference between the time taken to execute the last tick and the average and then it sends a message in chat if the difference is over a certain threshold. If the spikes you're experiencing are noticeable in gameplay, then try to line them up with what you're seeing in game on the output of the chat. Another option is using spark tick monitor threshold tick to find the cause. This option means that Spark will filter out all the normal game stuff and just leaves the laggy ticks to worry about. Then run the command with the example 150 for the threshold. This will start a new profiler, but will only include samples from ticks that took over 150 ms to execute. Once complete, open the viewer and inspect the profile as normal. Hopefully, the laggy areas will then be especially clear. After, you can use that to find solutions to fix the lag, such as lag reducing plugins for mob farms, removing problematic mods or plugins, or even just optimizing gameplay. I hope I was able to assist you in setting up your server. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment down below or contact our support. Bye guys.